St. Francis of Assisi Girls Senior High School was established 60 years ago with 12 girls to afford girls in the area a higher academic education, empowering them for nation building. Acting headmistress of the school, Sister Mata Kello, recall how difficult it was to convince parents to have their wards embrace Western education. The girl child was an extension of the mother's hand in the kitchen and in taking care of uh, her siblings. And so it was a waste. And parents in, in, together consider girl child education as a waste because she will go to another home when she's married. And whatever she acquires will go there. Sister Martha Kello is of the belief that 60 years after its establishment, the school has achieved the vision and mission for which it was set up as it has produced prominent women who are working tremendously in all facets of the country's development and impacting positively on the society. We can name some of these people as Honorable Hajia Ali Mamama, Minister for Local Government and Rural Development. We have Honorable Paulina Abayare, Minister for Upper East Region. We have other ministers serving at the municipal and uh, district uh, assemblies. We have her ladyship Angelina Domechare with justice, um, Dr. Margaret Amuakohene. So these are just but a few. The school is undisputable a Goliath of education and achievement. There is also an insatiable test for progress. Today, the student population of the school has risen to 1,208, 1,162 of whom are boarders. This means that the limited facilities at the school have been overstretched. Madame Sally Zulfata is a senior house mistress of the school. Even the dormitories that we have, like we are talking of major renovation, some of them, the, the, the window frames are just hanging. The louver blades are not there. So these students are exposed to harsh weather conditions. Some dormitories take as many as 40 students, 30 students instead of maybe 20, 23, 28 students as well. So there is congestion. And so when we need help. The auditorium, constructed 10 years ago, is now a pale shadow of itself. There are cracks, gaping holes, and the cement plastering is also peeling off. A part of the roof also rips off anytime there is a windstorm. Some of the louver blades have not been filled in in some areas. The plumbing work is not done. The roof is badly leaking. And this is the fourth time we have called on the contractor to come back and work on one particular spot that keep riffing up. The lead storm, it will come off. And we will call through the consultant and he will send his men to come and work on it. The next minute it is done. This year is two times they have come to work on it. Another challenge faced by the students is the inadequate water supply at the school despite the existence of two boreholes. Tutors and the students say this affects academic work. Sometimes you'll be in class, but because you don't have water, your man you won't be in class. You'll be thinking of how to get water, either to drink, and especially with the Muslims, or either to pray. Sometimes you'll be in class, you leave classes, you leave some of the lessons, and then come to fetch water. Sometimes you can't but we'll fight with your colleague because of water. And I, we face so many challenges because of the water. Assisi! Shine! Great Assisi! As the Jiriba St. Francis of Assisi Girls Senior High School celebrates its 60th anniversary, it is the wish of the students and authorities at the school that their formation challenges are fixed. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam, Jiriba.